water out under. underneath. And there's a good chance that's where the polar bear is that we're tracking here. It's been an exhaustive search, and still the bear remains elusive. Why were you checking which way the wind is blowing? Just so the entryway is on the opposite end. Oh, right. We don't want it facing the wind. Right. I guess that's really important when it mm -hmm. blows at 40 or 50 miles an hour, especially. Think. I can already smell the tea brew. Our camp is modest, but functional in every way. I'm discovering there's little that Dale does that doesn't relate directly to our own survival. Even the caribou hides seem to be the perfect insulation against the cold. See how it kind of yeah. fits in a little better, like a jigsaw photo? What is that? That's my polar bear rough right here. <laughs> it's the best fur out there, is it, for, for keeping the wind out? Oh yeah, it keeps the wind out, and then it doesn't it doesn't frost, so it doesn't collect snow and stuff. Interesting. And then it stays pretty clean. Even though if you, if you get it dirty, you can just wipe it in the snow, and the hair will just clean itself off basically like a polar bear after it's done with its kill it'll just rub in the snow take a snow bath and it just takes all the dirt off the fur polar bears are stealth hunters and just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there let's see what we can do I'm breaking my ankles. Yeah. Perfect vantage point. <laughs> As I was saying, the perfect vantage point for looking for polar bears. Our camp's right here, and it's easy to forget that it's smack bang right in the middle of polar bear habitat. All the way to the horizon, all I can see is ice giant jagged peaks and troughs of ice as far as you can see and it is a barren hostile landscape and if you can't read the ice here you're not going to survive polar bears are masters at reading the ice patrolling the edge of a lead smelling for any trace of a seal But sneaking up on a seal in open water is a challenge, even for a polar bear. The best chance for a meal is to sniff out a seal's breathing hole, or even a den with seal pups. It's a rare sight, but Dale has observed polar bears hunting. Like, say if there was a hole here, and the bear will squish it like that. Say if the hole was here, he could smell it, and then he'll close the hole, and then dig this side out where the seal is at, and he'll just scoop the seal out. It's one of the earliest instinctive behaviors for polar bear cubs. While their mum rests, these cubs will practice what it takes to become the apex predator of the Arctic. 
Learning to lead with your nose. Investigate anything out of the ordinary. Leap across unstable chunks of ice. And of course, the belly flop. But when mum huffs, the cubs know it's time to continue with the real hunt. Polar bear tracks have led us here. A whaling camp perched at the edge of a lead. A bear was spotted just a day ago, perhaps the very one we're looking for. For the Inupia, whale hunting is an ancient way of life that continues nearly unchanged today. With 24 hours of light, the rhythm of life is set by the whales, not the sun. Whale hunting is by far the most dangerous part of their subsistence life. And these young people are doing it just the way that their ancestors did. These guys are like 20, 22 years old and they've each got a role. And its importance to the community is vital. Yeah, when you become a captain and it's your first whale, you give the whole thing away to all the whaling crews. You just learned over time that what you catch isn't really yours. As a hunter, you're here to feed the town and the families, mm. not really for yourself. The Inupiat's commitment to this tradition has helped keep this part of the coastline free of oil development. Without their protection, this vital habitat may disappear completely. A whale off in the background or a blowhole there. Wow. Maybe our wait is over. As the whale approaches, the camp becomes dead silent. As soon as the whale surfaces, the boat is launched. It's a tense moment as the men paddle towards the massive whale, somewhere just under the surface. Harpooning a whale by hand is extremely dangerous. Bowhead whales can weigh 60 tons. One swipe of its enormous tail fluke could easily crush the tiny craft. <laughs> 